welcome back. Today I'll be showing you guys my Adnock um, oil terminal. So yeah, let's get started. So here is my Adnock oil terminal. Um, this is used for storing oil and it is also used for transportation oil to different countries and it's also used for um, getting oil from different drilling sites in the air in the UAE. So this is the replica of the Fujera oil terminal. So as you can see, this pipe comes from Abu Dhabi. That means this pipe goes all the way to the Abu Dhabi oil uh, drilling site. This one is from Sharjah. This this pipe goes to Sharjah. This one is to Fujera. Now all these oil will be trans will be transported to this these tanks these um, pipes so as you can see in each tanks like if I go uh, I go and open the store I can see oil right over there so in that there's oil in all of the tanks so that we can uh, we can actually like you know store the oil now once all these tanks are stored now what is the use of storing them you should have to export them so let's say but first I want to show you guys something so let's say this tank is finished, this tank is full, so I want to move it to another tank. tank. So basically, well, what we have to do is there's a valve. So what the valves do is that they actually like, you know, like they, like let's say there's a valve over here. So if I want to fill from this kind of, you know, like, okay, so these rows of tankers are full, but these are not. So I want to move the oil from here, I just turn the valve over here, which will allow oil to go to this tank, and it basically is like a chain. So, in this terminal, which I made, there's over 40 um, terminals. So, yeah, that's all I could do in Minecraft, but in actual reality, there will be a lot. So, now let's go to the control room. So, this is the control room where, where many computers are there, and then we can, like, control the computers and monitor what's happening in the entire oil rig. And it's over here and over here. So this is a panoramic computer as a person does not need to move to some other place. A person could just turn right to see the next screen. Now here is what I call the panels. These panels are the main controls for the rig, for the, uh, for the terminal. So the, there are a lot of them and these help in controlling the rig. Now I'll show you where the oil gets transported to other countries. This is international transport. So first, let's say all these tankers come to this little uh, house like that. But it's actually not a house, it's a medium scale. But inside this they have many, you know, like they have, uh, you can see the oil right there. So the oil goes uh, through this pipe where there will be many valves. And then all these valves will control how much oil goes. So let's say I want to give... Uh, not me, we want to give uh, 10,000 gallons of oil to Japan. So I can just measure that 10,000 gallons over here. Now after it's measured, I can, after it's measured, the oil will go to this pipe. The reason there's this yellow color thing is it's just to illuminate it in, in night. So it will come over here while it goes turn. It turns a 90 degree and then it goes straight. And then over here, what's actually happening is as you can see, it's the boat. Now here, see underwater. Now when what it actually does when it goes underwater is that the oil comes and goes inside the ship, and that's when it, that's and the ship goes to Japan to you know transport it. Now for persons to come inside so that they can they can control the ship, the the dock is over here. So so they just just go open the door, and then now, the, now these are just many other tankers. Now the control room for the for the ship is right over here. So I can just press this button. And once, now here I have many things, and here I can see the friends. So let's say that if that's Japan, I can just go friend by clicking these levers, and yeah, like that. So then I can basically transport it to any country I want. That's it, guys, for this for this showcase of my. Uh, Adnock or Fujera oil terminal. So, hope you guys enjoyed it and yep, bye.